Hey guys, in this week's video, I'm going to teach you how to make a proportional wall follower for your NXT robot. Alright, so here I am with the NXT programming environment open, and it's time to build a proportional wall follower for the NXT. Now, the first thing you need to know is how proportional logic works. If you've watched my videos, you probably already know, but basically, the short version is you set a desired value, in this case, the distance we want to follow from the wall, and the robot's going to measure how far away it is from this desired value. And the farther away it is, the greater the magnitude of the correction is to get back on track. So, let's get to building the program. First, what we want to do is figure out how far away we want to follow from the wall. And we're going to define this using a variable. So we're going to scroll into this menu and take that out. We're going to go up to edit right here in the top left corner so we can actually tell our program about our new variable. We're going to go to define variables and we're going to hit create here. We're going to name our variable, hopefully something easy to remember. I'm just going to name mine distance and we want this to be a numerical value because we're going to type the number of centimeters or inches we want to be from the wall. So after that's created we could just close this out, click on this, we'll select our new distance variable and we want to write the variable right here because we're setting how far away we want to follow from the wall. Now this is going to be varying based on whatever you want your robot to do but in this sample I'm going to follow 15 centimeters from the wall and my recommendation is not to follow too close to the wall because ultrasonic sensors lose their accuracy after they pass a certain distance um, like I think the NXT is about maybe six-ish centimeters so you don't want to get too close to that otherwise your wall follower won't work very well next we're going to take out a loop block and this is where our main program is going to execute within here I have it set to forever but hopefully you'll set some kind of case that'll allow the wall follower to break out and move to the next part of the program. That will be for you to decide based on your specific circumstance. Next what we're going to do is take out another variable block. We're going to set it to the same variables before distance except instead of writing we're going to be reading the variables. So we're taking the value we set there and um, reading that. We're going to take out a sensor block for the ultrasonic sensor set it to the port uh, whatever it is that you're using and set it to whichever unit you'd like to use in my case I'm going to use centimeters so we're going to be following 15 centimeters away from the wall we're going to take out a math block set this to subtract and we're going to take the distance from the ultrasonic sensor set that as our a value we're going to take the value of our variable and set that as the b value and then the result will go on and what this does is it subtracts our desired value from the sensor's distance so if let's say we're following at a distance of exactly 15 centimeters from a wall it's going to return a value of zero that means we don't need to steer in any direction if we're too close to the wall it's going to return a positive value and if we're too far away from the wall it's going to return a negative value so that's pretty much how that works that's why we put the subtraction here next we're going to take out another math block and this part right here is important because this is only optional based on whatever your circumstances is right now at this math block you need to ask yourself which side of the wall you're going to be following on in my specific case we're going to be following on the right side of the wall so the wall is going to be the left of the robot and we need to add in this extra block we need to multiply this output value by negative one so the robot turns in the opposite direction as it normally would if it were on the other side of the wall because think about it if the robot is on the left side of the wall it's going to need to turn in the opposite directions than if it's on the right side of the wall so we need to reverse it so in summary if your robots falling to the right side of the wall add this block that multiplies by negative one if the robot follows on the left side of the wall then you don't need this block next up we have yet another math block I know there's a lot of math in this program we're going to again set this to multiplication but this is going to do something slightly different we're going to take the result from the previous math block whichever that one may be and we're going to type in I'm going to type in three for this but this is an arbitrary value that means you can change it based on your circumstances what this does is it scales the correction made by the robot so the larger you make this value the larger or more severe the corrections will be and of course the smaller this value is the more smooth the corrections will be 
and like I said this is an arbitrary value so I encourage you to play around with this value and find what works best for your robot in my case I'm just going to try three and then the final block in this series we're going to take out a move block from here and we're going to pull this down the result from all of our math blocks at the very end is going to get plugged into our steering port here and that's all we need to plug in here you can set your power to whatever it is you desire we want to set the motor to unlimited here and of course whatever direction you desire most likely forward and this is the important part where this comes in we want to set our left and right motors and in my case which is most cases your left motor should be motor B and your right motor should be motor C if you didn't switch the motors to match this way then your robots going to be turning in the wrong direction it's going to turn into the wall if it's too close and then if it's too far it's going to turn away from the wall it's going to do everything opposite so it's important to set the correct motor ports anyway this is our completed NXT proportional wall follower now I'll download it onto my NXT robot and I'll show you how it works. Thanks for watching my tutorial this week. If you found it helpful, be sure to subscribe for more tutorials like this every week. And if you have an idea for a tutorial, be sure to submit it in the comments section below. Thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.